What's up guys? This is Lee and Z from Keeping an Interesting Podcast. Long time no see. We've been busy with life. We went through a lot of life changes recently. Um, yeah, but uh, we've situated that. And since we've been putting in so much work, we're like, we deserve a treat. And cheat meal! Um, As if every meal hasn't been a cheat meal lately. We've been really fat. Stop. Lately. It's been so Zanetta. bad. At, we eat out. We never do this. Maybe he does, but I don't. I'm like, oh, no. I, you know, I love to cheat and, like, eat this bad stuff, but I can't do it every day. Moral of the story is, last week, we found out that Applebee's was doing 25-cent bonus wings each. It was from Sunday to this past Sunday. Sorry to let you know so late that it's over. But we were there, I think, three times. We became regulars at that bar. I went there a couple times with my grandma. Uh, Applebee's also does this $1 alcoholic beverage. So I did the Vampire Halloween one. And now the November one is a cranberry type of thing. Cranberry lemonade vodka. Yeah, to be like uh, Thanksgiving. They're very weak. You can get four one dollar drinks, and then you're kind of a little buzz. So that's cool. But and the bartender Mary is a Celtics fan. Yeah, we watch so the game together. No lie. Twice. Yeah. And we won both times. <laughs> we have become regulars at the local Applebee's bar, so we're bellying up. But we also had Wendy's and uh, just so much fast food it's disgusting so then this guy's like remember yesterday Popeyes made a comeback with the chicken sandwich that's been so famous it's been sold out and it's been sold out no lies since for two months it came out August 12th I'm pretty sure yeah. and it hasn't been out since and we're gonna strive to bring you more fast food videos anytime that there's a really cool chicken um, video for fast food anytime there's a meatless yeah, item I mean, that's introduced. We're going to try to do those two things. There's going to be two of our specialties going forward here. So the next one um, is in two days from now is the Beyond Meat Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwich. And I am so stoked. Number one today, they made a comeback with the peppermint mocha. Yes, Christmas flavors are out. Forget pumpkin spice. Blah. Uh, I can't wait to have the Beyond Meat. And I'm not even a vegetarian. Like, everyone's like, are you vegetarian? She, no, I'm not. She does eat meatless, though, quite a bit. I used to be vegetarian. I never eat meatless. I will be trying things going forward. I make that promise to you guys. Um, you tried pot roast yesterday. That was a pretty big move for you. I did. I've been trying a lot more things. But also, like, you're going to get her perspective. She eats meatless. You're going to get my perspective, too. And I'm, an, I'm a dumb, fat idiot who, like, just likes regular meat and potatoes. Um, Not so even. Eating meatless, I'll give you my, if it tastes like cardboard, I'm going to tell you it tastes like cardboard. So, so I'm excited for it, but it's a new sandwich. What? Oh, the Beyond Meat Breakfast Dunkin' Donuts sandwich. Yes. Yeah. So excited um, about this. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon because you don't want to be the only one that isn't. I just want to know what all the hype is about this, that everyone's like, holy crap, we need this in our lives, where the hell has it been, like, they've been sold out since, what's the deal? Yeah, so, we, until recently, haven't had Chick-fil-A or Popeyes until, like, the last five years, we got both of them. Nah, um, that's not true. I've had Chick-fil-A numerous times when I went south. Well, obviously. But not Popeyes. But in Syracuse, I mean, we right, haven't had right. either of those my restaurants. God. They both came. I was a little disappointed. Wendy's is still my favorite chicken restaurant for the fast food, but... Wendy's is Popeye's the best. Popeye's I go to regularly. They're by the Lost Horizon, by my house. So every once in a while, I'll go buy Popeye's. This is the first time they've ever had a chicken sandwich, from what I understand. So that's what the hype is, that they've never had a chicken never sandwich. Never had a chicken sandwich. So what did they have? Breasts? Yeah. They have... I think they have... Nugs? Bone-in chicken. Breasts? They have the pull-apart chicken... They have Too chicken much tenders, they have chicken... Pop, I want nugs. Popcorn chicken. Or a sandwich, and that's it. Yeah. I, I don't need... That's a decent seafood for a fast food place. Not a lot of places have decent that's seafood sketchy. fast food. So they have pretty good shrimp, uh, pretty good fish bites that are all right. I'll try the shrimp, but it sounds sketchy. But I don't like to go to KFC and get those big breasts or drums or whatever... I just either do a sandwich or nugs, and that's cool. So, 
Uh, we, of course, can get the classic that everyone's all about, which, by the way, this is a dig towards Chick-fil-A because they brought this back on a Sunday when Chick-fil-A is closed. And Chick-fil-A also... Closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. You're my number one. With a lemonade. This is a song, right? It's a new Kanye song. Jesus is King album came out last oh, week. Oh, it's on the religious album. It. Been kind of rocking it, yeah. That album is number one in America right now, no lie. So it doesn't matter if Kanye does Big it Kanye regular fan. or... I like the gospel. Um, Sunday service. So I think the only difference is that this is made with a different sauce. I think it's like a spicy mayo as opposed to the regular mayo. Yeah, so of course he had to get that. But my point was Chick-fil-A has pickles. This one has pickles. We got to see what's better. But when it comes down to it, Chick-fil-A has got waffle fries. So Right off the bat, I'm getting a different smell than I normally get from Popeye's chicken. Um, I think the sandwich is pretty simple. There's not much on it. You're taking the bite with the, the pickles. Just the sauce. Uh, just the sauce and a couple pickles down there. So we're going to split this in half. I'm going to try to get equal pickle and chicken distribution here. P.S. This guy, we talked about bouncing back from all the fast food last week. We took regular chicken out. We went grocery shopping. Do we ever? We try. I try to make sure we eat our groceries instead of buying food out all the time. But he's like, do you want to get it? It's back. And I'm like, fine. That's fine. Whatever. But I'm like, we're still eating dinner or what? And he's like, it's just a snack. This is not a snack. We're splitting one sandwich. We didn't get fries. We didn't get anything. It's still we behaved ourselves. A big crispy here. chicken sandwich from a fast food place. But I don't let it happen because, like, I want it as a snack too. But also, we went. Um, what time did we go? Like seven thirty. I don't even know what time it is right now. But we only waited a couple minutes. It was like a normal drive-through thing. A lot of people are saying. Um, I read on the news, too, that it could be, like, a wicked long wait. So, I don't know if you're trying to go on lunch or whatever. Be prepared. Because this is serious stuff. Yeah. So It does smell super it fresh. It smells and, like, super homemade. good. Pickles, sauce, chicken, bun. Not much to it. I'm excited, though. It does smell mm. great. And I just had a little bit of, of a bite of the bread. And it was really good. So. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, my God. Cheers. Boom. Oh my god, I can't wait for the pickle sitch. Eh. I don't know. I hope I didn't lose my pickle. Oh my god. That's some homemade stuff. Very good. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? Number one thing I gotta say is that I usually don't eat chicken sandwiches because That's I think true. oftentimes the bread takes away from the chicken itself. But I'm glad that I did this time because as a package with the pickle with the sauce, mm -hmm. a I like little this bit bun. of spiciness, not overwhelming, right? Not too. No, awkward. I was just gonna tell you that actually I'm super weak with spicy and I um, like spicy. She does me. Not too much for her, but still enough that I'm. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's spicy. It's good. Better than Chick-fil-A? Or just different? You know, I'm going to say better than Chick-fil-A sandwich. I don't know what it is. And I mean that when I say it's like homemade, like a home flavor, like like a down south. I don't know. Like, what's their motto? Louisiana fast. Yeah. And what's Chick-fil-A sitch? It's just there's something about it that reminds me like maybe my grandmother would make this in her kitchen rather than Chick-fil-A that's more. And still Chick-fil-A isn't like total fast food. You know, it's not like the lowest of the low. It's probably right underneath this. But this is different. I don't know what it is. It tastes more real. I know it's fake. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely some level of, like, fakeness to all fast food. But I definitely get what you're saying. It definitely tastes more natural, more homemade than some, some chicken sandwiches. 
I love this snack. I'm so glad we're just having snacks before dinner. Yeah. So. What do you rate it? My gold medal sandwich is, of course, a spicy chicken sandwich from, from Wendy's, uh, which I've loved. I've been a fan of since my childhood. We had Wendy's two or three times last week. It's so good. For a while, it was inconsistent. Honestly, I don't know if that's just my location or there was some sort of, like, product issue. The one near our house is bomb, and the people are super friendly yeah. and good. But they've gotten a hold of that recently, and I have gone back to, to liking Wendy's as the best again. But my point in saying that is this would be a silver amount of sandwich for me. This has to be... Silver, so number two to Wendy's? Among, among the better chicken sandwiches out there. Well, you rate it. For sure better than McDonald's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think a little bit better than the Chick-fil-A. I'm still going to say that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm giving it like a 8.5 out of 10. Very I'm going to give it an 8. I don't know. I could even give it a 9. Yeah. This might just be a little too much for me. Like, you know, I usually get like a McChicken or like... What's the smallest one? The Dollar Crispy one at Wendy's. Mm -hmm. I know that's the cheaper, you know, made and whatever, but it's just all this is too much for me. It's definitely a hearty. It's a hearty sandwich. Right. It's definitely a lot of... In taste, though, and the pickles and stuff, I'm going to give it a nine. Super safe. Mm -hmm. Well-deserving. And I'm thankful. Oh, and Popeye's, like, pinky swears that they're going to keep this in stock. So, like, don't worry if you don't get there tomorrow. You can't wait in line during your lunch. Like... They promise that they're going to keep it around because, well, they're losing business if they don't. So, that's that. That's that. Popeye's chicken sandwich, I'm going to give it a nine. We got the spicy one, by the way, not the classic. And if you're weak on spice, it wasn't that bad because I'm like the mildest as it comes. I don't know that I would like the non-spicy as much. I really did like this as a whole package. So We can't keep eating this as snacks, by the way. Two thumbs up. We'll be seeing in a few days with the Dunkin' Donuts meatless breakfast sandwich. Beyond meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, until then... It's been real. It's been fun. Keep it interesting.